Hi, welcome to the Great Art Doors, where we use natural materials to make art. Today, we're going to use a plain bandana and some things you gather from your yard or park. Stems, leaves, flowers, anything that might make an interesting pattern. And we also have some paint in your kit. I'll show you what to do next. Now, I'm at the library, so I can't work outside. But if you have a chance, this might get messy. So what you need is some kind of water resistant surface. That could be a lid to a tote like I'm using, or a tarp on a table or an outdoor plastic table, a tablecloth, a garbage bag over a piece of cardboard, something that won't absorb water to work on. Then you're going to dip your bandana and get it completely soaked. Wring it out gently, still leave it pretty damp, and spread it out on your surface. Now, like I said, this is a great time to work outside. I just am not able to do that here at the library. Spread it out, and the first step is to paint. After you spread out your bandana, you're going to dilute your paint. It needs to be half water and half paint. So I have a small cup here. I'm going to put a little paint in there, just a squirt. Just a squirt of each color. little bit of water, the same amount of water as there is paint. Make sure to have something to rinse your brush or have more than one brush. Here's the red. I'm going to stir it up and make it nice and smooth. Now you might want to use a spray bottle to keep your bandana wet while you're working. What we're going for is kind of a tie-dye look. So we want to take the diluted paint and just spread it out. All over. Kind of a diluted tie-dye type expression. If you have other acrylic craft paint that you would rather use than the colors we sent, you may. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush between colors because they will mix together a little bit on the bandana, but you want it to be intentional and not just by accident. All right, so now I'm going to stir up my turquoise. Get it nice and smooth. Again, my cloth is very wet and it is on a surface that does not absorb. So the paint is just sitting there flowing. And I'm just kind of free forming it. It's going to have a tie dye look. If you want to make an initial letter, like write a, an initial letter or a smiley face whatever you want to do, but keep in mind, you're going to make a pattern with your natural materials. I'm getting some nice color mixing here, right along the edges. So don't be afraid to do that. Okay. This is why you want to work outside. It is messy. I've got this nice big flower. And this is 
definitely going to leave an impression when the sun hits it. So I'm going to put it right in the middle. And then I have some smaller flowers of the same style. This is a, an artificial flower, but you may use a real one or um, this is just what I had available at the library. Now I'm going to put my flowers. going for symmetry here, but you can go for randomness. I'm going to put a fern leaf right there and another fern leaf. don't want it to be too busy because you want to leave areas of paint and areas of material that are leaving an impression. So you don't want it to be too loud. Now the key is to put this out in the sun. It could take a couple hours. So that's what I'm going to do. It's been two hours and I'm bringing my project in because it's dry and look at this there we go the sun and the flowers made an impression you can see this happened because the water from the surrounding areas evaporated faster than the water under the flowers. And when it did, it pulled the paint with it. So you're left with an impression. The bandana can be dried on hot to set the paint. And then you should be able to uh, wash it on delicate or by hand separately. I wouldn't wash it with anything else that matters um, until you're sure that it's set. But there is your nature printed bandana.